Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about how can you build a website. So your own website, you can build it just under 15 minutes. Okay, let's dive into it because website building used to be a complicated thing like, you know, you have to know HTML code and, uh, you know, need a bit of a technical knowledge. Okay, requires, uh, you know, expertise. But right now, anyone can build a website uh, from scratch just in 15 minutes time. So today we are going to show you step by step how you can build your own website just under 15 minutes. So let's dive into it. So let me just explain you then. There are uh, two ways of building your own website. One is self-managed or self-hosted website. Another option is hosted or managed website building, okay? So what is the difference? So the difference is self-managed is uh, or self-hosted, okay? Both, uh, you know, kind of uh, similar in the sense that you, when you have this website, because your website comes with all other stuff as well, that means you need to have a security features installed, otherwise other people may try to hack into your website um, and you have to, make sure that your website's performance is optimum and it's uh, up and running. So that requires a, you know, a bit of a management. So you need to understand that part of uh, you know, uh, your business. So that's called self-managed. It's not complicated, anyone can do it. So self-managed website. And the other option is uh, you know, already managed. So there are companies who do it for you. So you don't have to even get, take that hassle. But the second option is a bit more expensive. Again, it's not expensive that you have to pay a lot out of your own pocket. So if you compare that with, uh, you know, what they do, these companies do for you, okay? If you hire people to get these things like security features, so somebody will be there to make sure that there is no security breach into your website or your uh, website maintenance, or, you know, it's really fast or, you know, something fails on your website. So, so you, you require a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of money, you know? Uh, so that means you have to hire people. But in this case, these companies, they take care of it. So let's get into it. Self-managed or self-hosted website. So that means you develop, uh, you go through this process, what we discussed here, you register your domain name, okay? And uh, domain name is, what is a domain name? Domain name is, let's take for an example, uh, your company um, or your website, you want to name it as, uh, you know, john.com. Okay, so the domain name is john.com or myonlinestore.com. That is your domain name. Okay, so that's the domain name. So next, let's get into the next step of um, where do you register, okay, for your domain. So you go to your website, uh, these websites like godaddy.com, namechip.com, Bluehost, SiteGround. Um, so there are so many. If you Google it as well, you will have hundreds of uh, websites who do it for you. So that means, uh, you know, um, they are kind of an agent, uh, you know, they take your kind of request and then, uh, the, you know, they get the website um, domain name registered for you. Okay. Now, once you do that, then is, uh, you know, the hosting. So that means you just bought one uh, domain name. That means, uh, you know, your online store.com, that's your domain name but that has to be hosted. Hosted means what? So that means uh, you have to develop a website. Web live, it requires a space, okay? Some space and uh, that has to be, uh, you know, sitting there in somewhere online in a server, they call it a server, okay? So it has to be stored this data, the information what uh, you are, uh, you know, putting together on your website. So that has to be stored somewhere that is called hosting, okay? Who is your host? So all these companies of GoDad, your Namecheap or Bluehost or SiteGround. So all these companies, uh, you know, they also provide, uh, you know, hosting service as well so that you can have uh, your website, your domain name hosted in, with these companies. Again, domain name, you have to pay. How much it uh, in domain name cost, uh, you know, barely uh, for a year. Again, domain name has to be renewed every year. So I think it, it depends from, uh, you know, um, a different provider to a different provider, but somewhere around, uh, you know, 
I would say around 10, $15 uh, to, you know, more than that as well. So that kind of a range of, it's not a, not a lot of money to be honest. And then you have to host it, okay? Now hosting does require a bit more money, okay? So hosting means you have to have a SSL a certificate. That means it has to, you have to make sure that your website is secure. That means HTTPS secured a website when somebody goes in. So that means instead of HTTP dot uh, your online store dot com, it should be HTTPS, you know, which is more secure. So that means the, the user's uh, information uh, goes through in a more secured way, online travels from, you know, that computer to another computer, you know, on a more secured way in a packet format. Okay. So after you host, you know, your, your domain name. So let's uh, get into it. And uh, let me just show you as well after your, after you host it. Okay. How does that hosting look like? Okay. Let me just share my screen so that you know, how does your uh, hosting look like? Okay, so let me share the screen and we can go and so let me just. Okay, so now we'll uh, go to um, this, uh, you know, this, this is called a control panel. So once you have um, uh, registered your uh, website with a hosting, because uh, right now I am with my my host is called Namechip, okay, namechip.com. So I have hosted it, uh, this uh, this website in there. Now, if you see here, uh, you know, we have something called, uh, you know, soft callers app installer. So that is every uh, control panel, they call it once you log in, it will be a control panel like this. So you will have app installer. So if I click in there, now you see that, so, you will see you know different apps you can install it on your website okay so that means on the back end of your website to build uh, or support your website so these are different applications now you see that installation you know yes you, you see that a wordpress so you just have to click on install and here you are so you uh, it will install the uh, wordpress what is wordpress wordpress is a software it is a free software which uh, helps you to uh, build okay that html code what is required html is the is the coding or, or a programming uh, sort of uh, you know software you could say or a programming language or a code which which is uh, behind uh, you know the the pages what we are built whatever you see now on on here so that is nothing but you know, in the background is HTML pages, is that the different codes, okay? So that it, it installs it, uh, you know, in the background and which helps you. So that means instead of now putting HTML uh, code, now you can build a website, uh, you know, without knowing the technical knowledge, without having the technical knowledge, anyone can build the website. So WordPress, WordPress is a free software, you can, you can use it, uh, you know, and uh, let me just then, get in, into the um, WordPress. Okay, so we are go going to get into one of my websites. Uh, I'll get into that and see how does that look like. Okay, it's real simple and easy. Uh, let me just share my screen and you will be able to see the WordPress site. Okay, so this is one of the uh, my website. And uh, now you see that there are different kind of, uh, you know, um tabs here this is a uh, this called wp admin that's called wordpress admin so you can see that so so these are you know different uh, sort of functionalities or different uh, softwares which are installed or we call it a plugin plugin installed on top of your uh, you know um wordpress okay so our wordpress allows you to create or to you know install software so that means it makes your life so easy just to drag and drop and change and just use the software. So, okay. So now this is the important thing to create your own website. It's called, uh, you know, the pages. You see that, you know. So here, so you create your pages, all pages, new pages. Pages are different pages. The contact us page you must have seen on your, uh, on different websites or, uh, you know, privacy or home page. That means the first page, second page, third page. So you, you create those in here. Okay. Now, most important thing is you'd need now let me just go back to our uh, uh, you know the slide here and what we are discussing here is you need to install a page builder plugin 
Okay, now play, play, what is a page builder? So those pages what we saw, uh, you know, on our WordPress, uh, you know, administr uh, administration screen. Now, so the, for uh, those pages uh, to be developed, uh, to create those pages, you can, okay? Again, WordPress has its own, um, you know, ways or it gives you the functionality to create your own uh, different pages uh, whereby, you know, uh, you have, you know, you drag and drop and you can create a website just in a few minutes or you can use one of those page builder software, which is more kind of an advanced, okay, my battery is running low, let me just cancel it. Okay, so you you can install and you can use, uh, you know, the, one of these, uh, you know, there are so many uh, page builder softwares as well you can use. Um, so, um, so very popular are Elementor, Thrive Theme, and, uh, or Thrive Architect, this is, uh, you know, another, another company which, uh, uh, you know, uh, develop the different page builder softwares and Weaver Builder is also very popular as well and DV as well is another one as well so there are so many of them okay so what I'll do is I will uh, show you now um, how you can uh, install the software real quick let me just quickly go to the website here so what you need to do is you have to go to plugins you see that plugins and then add new okay and then you go and uh, you know add new plugin add new so that is a software you know you can go for let's say elementor or thrive theme uh, uh, software so they uh, you go to their website and uh, you register you know uh, these are they give you free as well and then premium as well with extra features they give you as well so you download their software from their website and then upload it here that means when you click on add new so it will ask you to, you know, where do you need, where, where is that file, downloaded file, which you can upload, okay? So you can, you can upload it, uh, you know, upload it here, okay? So choose a file and then you can, you can upload it there, okay? So now what I have done on this website, just to show you that I have used, uh, you know, um, a page builder software uh, here on this website called uh, uh, Thrive. Okay, Thrive Theme or Thrive uh, Themes is a company or you know Thrive Parent Company and Thrive Architect is one of its product. There are so many different products they develop. So what I'll do is I'll let me just show you how quickly and easily you can create your pages. That means the website is right away you can create. I just uh, click on Add New. Okay, and uh, then it is uh, doing something in here. Now you see that. Okay, it came up with a screen. Okay, so now what is the websites uh, or the page name? Okay, so now it is giving me also launch Thrive Architect. Okay, that's the page builder. So if I click on, let's say, you know, I am putting, you know, a test page here, and then I put that launch Thrive Architect. So what it is doing now, it's, uh, you know, the software is being loaded so that it uh, helps me to create the page, okay? With, uh, I'll show you as well how quickly and easily you can, uh, you know, do your uh, website, uh, you know, in few minutes, okay? So what we have seen um, is uh, registering your domain name, hosting your, uh, you know, domain um, and uh, finding a host. And then the third thing is installing your, um, you know, WordPress software. And then the fourth thing is, uh, you know, the page building software or a plugin you are installing okay now you see it's asking me two of the normal page that means you want to create it yourself or ready-made pre-built landing pages okay how many of the library of over 200 pre-built landing pages so i click on here and then now these are the webs uh, pages is already there so what do i need to do then okay i just choose one of these okay and so these are smart landing pages legacy landing pages let's take for example i take in this one okay so I just have to click in here, apply template. And what it does is this is the template, which is now template change successfully. Now it's loading this template. So that means I have a skeleton now. I just have to chop and change, you know, different pictures, the content, that means the writings. That's it. So the website is all done now. Okay. So we'll give, give it, uh, you know, some time for, you know, to load. And uh, okay, so let's uh, see that. Okay, now this is see the website. 
okay it's already done okay what do you mean by already done so that means the template is there now you just have to change it time to take service you are offering into the next level so what you are doing is here you can time to take service you are op offering so time to take you just change it here um you know online selling okay online selling to net to the next level book free consultation call okay so now okay so this is some testimonial you just put your own there don't put uh, you know there is a picture there so you just don't use that picture you can use your own picture as well if you are a consultant you can you know you can do this as well okay so that is a consultation and your face is hooray it's all done can you imagine just in few minutes we finished okay so you just have to make sure that you save your work and just publish it and then your face is ready okay how easy it is okay but however before we uh, move forward just wanted to make sure you know as well a uh, few bits of it okay so that it requires a bit of a, you know customization you know uh, of wordpress so what you need to do is you go to uh, settings here and then go to general so there are some settings after you install the wordpress you just have to make sure that you know all these informations you know are are you know uh, kind of you you know where uh, what exactly you know uh the the configurations are okay and appearances you you customize your appearances three kind of, uh, you know your theme it well the i didn't discuss about the theme because once you develop once you install your wordpress then you have to install a theme as well which you know standard there are some standard themes as well what is a theme that means a broad outlook of your business so this is the website which i have created so that is the theme it it came up with okay so so this is what it is uh, you know um, really easy you can develop your own website just uh, you know go around play with it and it is uh, so simple to develop your own website okay so let me let me just uh, come out of it and then let me just show you now how can you develop a um, website even without paying for hosting okay because hosting service providers they um, you need to pay for uh, for their service but without even paying you know how can you do that well let's go and see the options here okay what are the options okay you you can go for a hosted and managed service but without paying for hosting you can go for the second option you see here mailchimp mailerlite aweber active campaign so these are uh, you know um we call it uh, email autoresponder websites okay they provide e email autoresponder that means uh, you know automatically you know the you can set up uh, you know um, your system in such a way that it, it sends email to your uh, you know a list of clients or customers okay um so they offer free that means uh, you know you can develop your own website for free okay let me just uh, let me just show you as well um how can you do that um you know real real quick so that uh, you know you can have an idea of how you can develop your own website okay so now uh, let me share the screen and uh, let me show you how quickly okay so this is one of mailer light is one of uh, you know uh the email autoresponder and that they provide just like that we have mailchimp as well very popular you know uh email autoresponder company and that they also provide free okay again free uh you can create uh web pages for free but the domain name has to be you know um in their domain but with your own extension okay however you can have your own domain as well and for uh, most of the time they they charge you for that as well okay so you can use so let like, you see that in here the sites i click on the sites and then create okay and landing page name so let me put uh, testing is uh, you know uh, my domain and uh, save and continue so if i do that now you see that um it will be creating 
you know a, a page or it will its own software will be creating creating a page for me and now you see there so it's saying that okay which subscriber groups the subscriber group is uh, you know because this is a you know uh, email auto responder software or a company which uh, you know their service is email responder they're saying that okay uh, if you are creating a page you know you are creating a page to collect your email addresses of your subscribers i think people who are interested in your service okay so you can create a new group so i'll be saying okay mlm ebook okay so this is one of the uh, you know subscriber groups i created and save and continue okay so that means that page which i am creating the lead what i'll get out of that page where it will be going okay so that's kind of a default because these are you know the uh, email autoresponder company who is extending their service of going beyond email autoresponder to creating your own website you see that so this is a website okay this is what a template okay there are they have so many templates so i create this i select this template and the, uh, then the system is uh, um, uploading that onto the web, onto the website okay which which website not my website my, not my own well not my own domain but this website will be mine i will i can manage it uh, you know as well so it is coming up uh, you know is populating now you'll see that that will be a beautiful picture of your website will be developed okay um let me just uh, quickly okay so now we can see how does that look like it's loaded now you see this is the website okay this is the template where you can just chop and change okay this is instead of book you write something else new book new okay and you can put is uh, uh, make money online okay okay so this is all it allows you you can have blocks you can change the picture just click in here or edit it here and you can edit the image here you can change the picture so it's as simple as that guys so that is but definitely it's you that powered by mailer light so that means this is the company okay which is helping you to create your own website you publish it but when you publish it uh, you know it will be okay if if you publish it save and publish then what will happen is let me just show you that it will have its own uh, domain name that means mailer lights own provided domain name but you can have your own extension let's say for example you are providing um, you know coaching service so you can go subs, you know you see it here subscribe page.com and then you can put let's say coaching okay and page title you can have your own let's say home page So you can do and you know page description you can put it here save and continue if it is this is available that means subscriber page.com you say the url unfortunately already in use somebody has used it so you just have to go and change and see what is available there okay so this is as simple as that guys uh, you know creating and maintaining your own website is not that difficult anyone can just start it just below 15 minutes so you just have to chop and change and you know drag and drop and that's it you know you will be able to do that so hope it helps if you have any questions feel free to shoot a mail to me my name is som som prakash i am a business coach and a consultant i help people to build their successful online businesses and grow it globally with that i'm done and until the next video over and out